Hi, my name's Ash and welcome to Lenovo Tech Tools. Now, I've done a number of videos on laptops, tablets and monitors, but today I'm doing something new. I'll be introducing our stunning Moto G100. And here's a spoiler, I love this phone. Uh, I now need to think how I can articulate to you why I think it's so awesome. Um, so firstly, let's have a quick look at the specs. Uh, it's running a, a high-end Snapdragon 870 architecture with integrated 5G and uh, Wi-Fi 6. Now, alongside this sits 8 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM and 128 gig storage. So suffice to say, it's extremely fast. I mean, these are the kind of specs you'd expect to see in a laptop. Uh, the giant 6.7 inch display, it's got fantastic color reproduction and HDR10, it just looks stunning. Um, it has a 90 hertz refresh rate, so it means that when you're navigating around Android, it's a really slick experience. It has a multiple camera array around the back, which includes a widescreen lens, a ring light, and a microphone audio pickup that zooms with the camera. And the quality of the camera is fantastic, uh, but I was expecting that, to be honest. What I wasn't expecting was the huge dynamic range. It's actually better than my professional SLR camera, which is quite incredible. Surprisingly, it has two front-facing lenses. One of them is super wide for those group selfies. So lastly, powering uh, all of this performance is a long-life 5,000 milliamp hour battery, which is coupled with a 20 watt fast charger. Right, so the specs are done. Let's get to the really interesting part. When you open the box, you realize that things aren't quite the same as your usual phone. There's a desktop dock and a Type-C to HDMI cable, and these components allow you to connect to a larger screen and use the phone a bit like a laptop. This is absolute genius, and I'll give you a quick demo in a sec. Uh, but lastly, it comes with a slimline case in the box, which is a Moto Touch I really love, um, even more so after dropping this one on our concrete drive yesterday before I'd had a chance to shoot any video. The, the case that came with the phone saved it 100%. Uh, with the docking, there's a number of ways you can use the G100, but this is my favorite way. You can connect a Bluetooth mouse and keyboard to the phone, which is really useful for responding to emails and so on. But check this out. I have here a Lenovo M14 external monitor. And if I plug the phone into it with a Type-C cable, the phone actually powers the monitor, so you don't have to plug anything into a power socket. It sends power and video. You can use the G100 this way for gaming, TV, video conferencing, but here I'm using the desktop and using it pretty much like a normal business laptop. A nice touch is that if you don't have a Bluetooth mouse, you can use the phone screen as a trackpad. Here, I'm using the supplied Type-C to HDMI cable to power a 4K Think Vision monitor, and I was pleasantly surprised to see it performs really well. Um, the docks quite cool because you can easily mount the G100 in a portrait or landscape mode and the high quality camera setup does an excellent job of video conferencing. I'm actually really surprised how well the G100 performs because driving a second high resolution display really takes a lot of CPU overhead. I don't think you'd use it day to day like this as a business laptop replacement but for instance, if I went into the Lenovo head office and I've forgotten my ThinkPad, I can now sit at a hot desk, plug in my G100, and I'm up and running in 10 seconds. And that kind of flexibility for the hybrid worker will be absolutely crucial in the coming years. For me, the G100 has got the perfect balance of raw power, uh, performance, excellent cameras, long battery life, and the ability to operate as a full-on enterprise class device. All of this wrapped in this gorgeous blue iridescent body. If you'd like more information on the Moto G100, please contact your account manager or visit our website. Thanks for joining me and please keep an eye out for more Lenovo Tech Talks.